guitar and sing. Uh, there wasn't much of a beginning, I think. Um, in 2006, our old band called Wallpaper Silhouettes sort of fell apart and uh, uh, by that time uh, I was making music anyway, so it just felt natural to, to continue um, on the same same path. Uh, it was more a question of whether I would call it wallpaper silhouettes or something else entirely and uh, I felt that the old band name was very connected to uh, <laughs> the four piece as an entity, uh, the gang if you will. Um, so I chose not to use that, that name but I chose another name which was Blue's Child which was a very silly name. Uh, we even had uh, people turning up <laughs> when we played live uh, who were blues fans and were rather disappointed, I guess. In 2007, I changed the name to Painted Romans and uh, Jan Utai, who had been in uh, Walker Priscilla's as well, uh, joined. But by 2008, we had worked on new material which was originally to be to be uh, recorded on a third Wallpaper Silas album which didn't happen of course uh, but we recorded this material and um, released a debut album called uh, Evil Weeks and Bedroom Moments in uh, late 2008. Uh, I guess in late 2009 um, the band ceased to exist once again and uh, from that time on, um, it was more or less just me. Yes, we have certainly made a turn for darker and more intense music than, uh, than previously. Um, I mean, the whole back catalogue of Pendle Romans is so eclectic and um, there's never ever been uh, one type of music in Pendle Romans. It's always, there's always been an evolution and uh, it's definitely in the late this uh, influence in, I think, everything uh, I've ever done. Uh, the cold light and the new stuff is is darker and it is much more intense uh, and more reminiscent of early wallpaper silhouettes than, than anything uh, we've done in paint drawings before. Uh, I think this has something to do with, uh, <laughs> with the fact that Painter Romans t today could be considered a new group, a new band. Um, because, you know, from, for many, many years it was, it was just myself making whatever I felt like making. Uh, so, whether it be pop, jazz, uh, folk, ambient, New wave. It felt it felt right at the time, but by late 2020, we we had become a band again. Even though Thomas uh, also joined Paint Romans in 2015, and uh, Janotta has, has been in Paint Romans, I think, several times over the years. Mm. Um, but by October last year, um, we were a band again. And, uh, and this changed everything. Uh, we released the new mini album called Heart, 
and um, a song on that album uh, seemed to <laughs> hit home uh, with quite a few uh, dark music fans, um, DJs picked it up and, uh, and people started writing about it. And this was all very new for us. We had never been, our name has never been dispersed uh, like, it, like it is today. Uh, neither Wallpaper Silhouettes was ever as known as Painter Romance is today. So in, many, in, many, in that sense, it's, you, <laughs> you, you would be um, excused to talk about Painter Romance as a totally new band. And um, you know, the path we're on right now is, uh, is basically a return to roots and, and making gothic post-punk music um, with our own twist. <laughs> it's, it's still very 80s, but uh, uh, we don't mind that. One of the things I uh, really like about Pink Romans is um, the variety, a variety of influences. Uh, you can certainly discern early 80s post-punk goth um, music, you know, um, whether they be Dance Society, uh, maybe House Gang, The Cure, uh, but you can also hear a lot of pop music like Prefab Sprout and China Crisis, you can hear Steel the Dam in it, you can hear old jazz, folk music. All these things uh, play into music creation in painter romance. We are three quite different uh, people musically, uh, the different uh, styles that we like and uh, inspirations. Uh, for myself, I am uh, influenced by uh, indie rock, uh, also uh, blues and uh, old, uh, old style rock and uh, also electronica. And uh, if I should uh, mention one name, maybe it would be David Bowie. Is uh, important to me. Paint Romans uh, <laughs> is in many ways a, a, a new band for the majority of, of music lovers out there, and uh, I, g I guess we have we have a fan base by now. But people are just starting to discover our music. Uh, and it's all thanks to the new stuff we've been releasing uh, uh, lately. So I think the, the main project now is to try and reach out uh, to all those who would potentially find our music worthy, <laughs> basically. Yeah, and uh, just uh keep making music and uh, be ready to uh, come out and play when the pandemic uh, is uh, diminishing. It's a two-sided project. Uh, of course we want to reach uh, new potential fans. Uh, I would love to hear from fans if, if anyone discovers us and, and, and like what we do, uh, and please write us. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, we're doing it for ourselves because we need to. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>